weather change. Okay, and we're talking about weather, different kinds of weather. And for this lesson is how does weather change? Engage your brain, find the answer to the question in the lesson. When might you see ice on plants? You might see this in blank. So we have to read to figure out when we'll see the ice on plants. Uh, there are six vocabulary terms in this lesson. Okay. Wonderful weather. Weather is what the air outside is like. Weather may be sunny, rainy, cloudy, snowy, or windy. It can be hot or cold outside. Weather can change quickly or it can change over many days or months. A weather change that repeats is called a weather pattern. Active reading. The main idea the, is the most important idea about something. Draw a line under the main idea of this page. So go back to that paragraph and find out which sentence is the main idea. Okay. So the main idea of this paragraph is whether is what the air outside is like. Then it goes into the details on what the air outside is like. Okay. You may see thin or puffy clouds on sunny day, on a sunny day. Low gray clouds usually bring rain. Clouds help predict weather. On some days, rain falls. In some places, the weather gets very cold. Snow may fall. So draw what the weather is like today. So we, we are in Florida. And today, it looks like it's a little overcast. It's kind of, the sky is kind of gray. So just, you can draw whatever. You can draw just some clouds. Okay, the grass. It's not very sunny, so I'm not going to draw sun, just a bunch of clouds, okay? Measure it. You can use tools to measure weather. A rain gauge measures precipitation. So I'm going to underline that because that is an interesting fact about a rain gauge. Rain gauge measures Precipitation. Well, what's precipitation? Precipitation is water that falls from the sky. So what do you think that is called? Precipitation is water that falls from the sky. So what's water that falls from the sky called? Rain. Rain, snow, sleet, and hail are precipitation. So all of these Rain, snow, sleet, and hail are precipitation. So any of these is considered precipitation. A thermometer measures temperature. Temperature is how hot or cold something is. Find the sentence that tells the meaning of precipitation. Draw a line under it. Well, we already did that, so that's very good. Now we're actively reading and drawing lines under important information. Air is all around us. Wind is moving air. A weather vane tells the direction of the wind. So this rooster is called a weather vane. You see where we have N-E-S-W? Well, this is north, south, east, and west. And there's an arrow pointing. So this means that the weather or the wind is blowing to the west. Okay? So a weather vane, I'm going to underline that so I know what a weather vane is, tells the direction of the wind. Wind. 
This thermometer measures temperature in degrees Fahrenheit and Celsius. Here's the thermometer. This side is um, Fahrenheit and this side is Celsius. Down here we have the F for Fahrenheit and C for Celsius. A rain gauge tells how much rain falls. So this is a rain gauge and it's measured in inches. Okay, this side is inches. This side is, looks like millimeters maybe, millimeters. It's hard to see. Okay, so do the math. So science always involves math. Measure temperature. Use a thermometer to measure the temperature of the air in the morning and in the afternoon. Color the pictures below to show the temperatures. Write the temperatures on the lines. So you can do this on your own if you have a thermometer. You go outside in the morning, you leave the thermometer out there for a little bit, and see what the temperature is. Well, this morning, I think the temperature was about probably between the 60 and the 80, um, probably closer to the 60. It was a little cool outside. And then this afternoon, it hasn't made it here yet, but I think it's supposed to be closer to the 80s. Okay, so it's a little bit higher. So I'll say for the morning was about 67, and this afternoon it would probably be about 79. Write a subtraction sentence to find out how the temperature changed. So this is my bigger number when we're subtracting. It'll be 79 degrees Fahrenheit minus 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so how much the, did the temperature change? About 12 degrees. Because 9 minus 7 is 3, or sorry, is 2. And then 7 minus 6, 7 tenths minus 6 tenths is 1 ten. So I have 1 ten and 2 ones, 12 degrees Fahrenheit was the difference. Where does the water go? The water cycle is the way water moves from Earth's surface into the air and back again. The water cycle is a pattern. The water cycle causes weather to change. So make sure you pay attention to this. The water cycle is the way the water moves from Earth's surface into the air and back again, okay? So water is recycled um, in the environment. The sun's heat makes water evaporate or change into a gas. The gas is pushed up and meets cooler air. So can you see a gas? No, you don't usually see the water going up into the air. Okay, so the water evaporates. It goes from this lake, turns into a gas, it heats up, goes into a gas, kind of like boiling water. Okay, if you ever watch boiling water, it kind of, it goes away, so it's evaporating. It goes up into the sky. Then the gas cools and condenses or changes into tiny drops of water. The drops form clouds, okay? So then the gas cools down when it gets up into the sky. So once it cools down because it started off hot, turned into a gas, it was hot, goes up into the sky, it cools down, and it condenses, so it squeezes together and makes tiny, tiny drops of water. And those tiny drops of water is what forms the clouds. Then the water drops join to make bigger ones. The drops fall as precipitation. So as the clouds get heavier with water and get bigger water droplets in there, that's when they turn real dark and that's when it rains or snows or sleets or hails. Okay, it turns into precipitation. This is rain, so it's raining. And then the precipitation flows into rivers, lakes, and oceans. Then the water cycle starts again. Okay, so it rains, and it goes back into the rivers, lakes, and oceans. And then it starts all over again. 
Okay. So over here, when, where will the water go when the sun heats up? Heats it. So where does the water go when the sun heats it? So when it heats up, that's right, it will evaporate. And where does it go? Goes into the sky. Okay, a cause tells why something happens. What causes water drops to fall as rain or snow? Draw one line under the cause. So what causes water drops to fall as rain or snow? The water drops join to make bigger ones. So when bigger water droplets are formed, when they go together and they form bigger ones, they get too heavy to stay up in the sky, so then they fall. So the bigger drops causes the rain to fall. Okay, so this is the cause. The effect, what caused it, what happened, the effect is the rain fell. Now we know we all have seasons, so season to season. A season is a time of year that has a certain kind of weather. Weather changes each season. The seasons always follow the same pattern. Fabulous fall, that's what we're in right now, fabulous fall. In fall, the air outside may be cool. The leaves of some trees change color and drop off. Wonderful winter, winter is the coldest season. Ice can form on land and plants. In some places, snow may fall. Winter has the fewest hours of daylight, so it's not as sunny for very long, okay? So the days are shorter during the winter. Sunny spring. In spring, the air gets warmer. Some places get a lot of rain. And super summer. Summer is the warmest season. Some places have sudden storms. Summer has the most hours of daylight. So we have long days during the summer. And then over here you can draw an activity you would do during the summer. Okay, sum it up. Draw your favorite kind of weather. What is your favorite kind of weather? I'm gonna draw sun. I like sunny weather. Okay, maybe um, I'm on the water. Right, I like to be on the water in a boat during the summer. <laughs> and you can just draw whatever your favorite season, your favorite weather, I like sunny weather. Match each tool to what it measures. So remember what we talked about? This is the thermometer and this is the rain gauge. The movement of water from Earth's surface into the air and back again is called the water cycle. Number the seasons to show their order. Start with winter. So after winter, after January, February, then we get into April and May, March, April and May, we have spring. And after spring is June and July, and in June and July, that is when we are out of school. So that is the summer. And then we go back in the fall. Okay, so your brain check on Google Forms is going to look something like this, but I won't have this. This is called a crossword puzzle. Across means you're gonna go one across, so one letter per square. The sun's heat can cause water to weather, evaporate, temperature, condense, or precipitation. So when the sun heats the water, it causes the water to evaporate. Hmm. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do one more. Number four, water that falls as rain or snow is, this is four, we go down, precipitation. So I already have the E, so I don't have to rewrite the E, it's just one letter per box. Uh-oh, I think I misspelled it. P-R-E-C-I-P. Oh, nope, I didn't. Precipitation. There you go. If you misspelled it, you might not have enough letters for the rest of the boxes, or you might go past the box. So you did something wrong, okay? So you're going to finish that. And then on this side is cause and effect. So the sun heats water on Earth's surface. So that's the cause. What happens when the sun heats water on Earth's surface? The water evaporates, right, and goes into the air. Into the, whoops, into the sky. That's the effect. And then water, when water condenses into drops, was the effect of water condensing into drops. If you don't remember, go back to where it talks about the water cycle. So condenses or changes into tiny drops. So this causes the formation of clouds. So then the drops form clouds. Clouds form. Okay, so now we have an effect. We have to see what the whoops. We have to see what the cause is. The drops fall to earth as rain or snow. So what caused the drop to fall to earth as rain or snow? Well, here we go. The water get the water drops join to make bigger ones, and that causes the the drops to fall. Okay, so your brain check will look a little different on your Google form. All right, but that's the lesson for today. And I also added a generation genius um, science video to our lesson for today, okay? Possibly, I'll probably add a, a maybe a, a link for Magic School Bus. It also talks about the water cycle. All right, have a good day.